Okay, so I'm annoyed at the weather right now because I got it all ready to go outside. And I was gonna let Kildra play at the park for a little bit. And then I was gonna go shopping. But then I came out the door and it was snowing like a ton. So I had to go back inside and like resituate things. And I came back out and now it's not snowing. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna go to the store anyway because it's cold and I don't know. I don't want them running around the park in the cold too much. But um, it's a lot colder here than it was in Yamaguchi. In Yamaguchi, where we lived anyway, it rarely snowed, like barely ever. So, I've already seen it snow probably at least five or six times since we moved to Kobe. And it hasn't stuck or anything, but still that's a way more than what we've been used to the past couple of years. I don't really mind it, it's just being temperamental today. It's changing its mind. There's a bunch of construction going on. So, I was gonna bring my backpack so that I wouldn't have to carry so many groceries everywhere from the store. But I felt silly with the backpack, and then I have the ergo with Kale drawn here too. I don't know what they're doing. There's a grocery store not very far away from where we live, which is nice. It's not like terribly big, but they still have most of the things that we'll be needing. And then for other stuff that we need once in a while, we can go to either the station or like another area. This car is gonna wait for a while, so I'm gonna go around. self-conscious about talking to myself in a camera while there are people around. <laughs> the area where we live is very hilly, which makes it difficult to ride a bike back from the store because it's downhill going to the store but uphill going back. Uh, so I don't really want to try to do that on a bicycle. The station that's close by us is about a 20 minute walk away, which isn't too far, so that's good. But on the way back, it kind of sucks since it's all uphill. It feels a lot farther than it is. And there's actually a bus like coming up pretty soon here that goes to the station fairly often. I think it's like every... 15 minutes or something like that, but the bus that goes back, which actually stops like right in front of our apartment, only comes less than, it's like less than once an hour. And so you have to time things just right if you want to catch the bus going back. It would be nice to have a car, but like I said in the last video, it's just sort of a waste having a car in a big city like this because it's hard to find parking and the parking's expensive and everything and it's a pain to drive in the traffic and stuff. So we sold our car 
which was an ordeal because we moved at like the worst time we could have possibly moved which was around the holidays because in Japan they close things down for almost a week around the new year so from the first to the fifth a lot of things are closed and my husband tried to sell our car back at the dealership he bought it from but they weren't open so he went to a bunch of different dealerships and since it was a used car none of them wanted to buy it from him so a lot of them were like well we'll take it off your hands for free but we, we're not going to give you any money for it which felt like a waste because we haven't had the car for all that long and we paid obviously a lot more than nothing for it so finally he found this place that was going to give him go Hyakuen, which is like less than five dollars <laughs> for the car and that was like the only place that was going to give him anything all right so i'm back home now i didn't want to take the camera into the store but i didn't finish my story about the car so Basically, Mike went to all these different car dealerships and finally one place offered him just 500 yen and it was, he was running out of time because we needed to sell the car by that night and it was getting late uh, so he was just like, okay, well, I'll just sell it for 500 yen and so he um, started to get all the paperwork ready or whatever and then realized that his Honko which is the stamp you need for official documents in Japan, had already been packed. And so the car dealership couldn't do anything without his honko. And so he called me, he's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to go to this recycle shop and see if they'll take it and I won't have to hopefully pay any money. So he goes there and they actually gave him 5,000 yen, like right there. He didn't need his honko or anything. And they were really surprised that he was turning it into the recycle shop. They're like, this is a pretty nice car. Are you sure you want to recycle it? But, I mean, we needed to get rid of the car. And they were giving him more money than all the dealerships were going to give him. So it was about, that's about five or uh, $50 if you want to convert it into American currency. But, yeah, so we got like $50 for a car, which, I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> it just, it kind of was unfortunate because um, the dealerships all said that you know it was in nice condition and everything but they didn't think that they could sell um, a used car for very much money so they didn't want to spend money on it so that's just how things are in Japan people don't really want to buy used things and so you can often find used cars for pretty cheap here but the thing is that the emissions testing is quite expensive, especially for used cars. If it's older than a certain year, then you have to, I think you have to go more often or it's more expensive. I can't remember for sure, but uh, the, so that's why people just kind of trade in their gently used cars and just buy new cars all the time here. So, um, but yeah, that was <laughs> my story, I suppose. And now of course it's sunny outside and I'm really warm now from walking up all the stairs that's the one thing i don't like about this apartment is we're on the fifth story the top level and there's no elevator so i always have to go up the stairs and i was carrying you know the 20 pound baby and then the groceries and now i'm tired and quite hot so um yeah i think that's it for now so hopefully i'll make another video soon bye